Hello, everybody, and welcome back to our Stardew Valley speedrunning mini-series. Oops, I forgot to open the timer. So we're on to the fish tank now. We have officially speedrun the crafts room and the pantry. If you haven't seen those, uh, I have a playlist linked in the description uh, where you can watch those first and then come back to this one. Or you can just watch this one first. The order doesn't really matter. Either way, we're speedrunning every room in the community center, uh, except the bulletin board. That's a decision that I made uh, off camera. I think I want to save that for the full community center speedrun because just the bulletin board will take me forever. As always, make sure to subscribe if you enjoy this because in two or three days, I'll be uploading another speedrun. Uh, so you want to be ready for that. So with the pantry that I did a couple days ago, I did some actual like research into a route. This time I made my own route. Last time I saw what someone else did and kind of like tried to replicate it. This time I decided I was just going to create my own route. And you might think, oh, he's going to pick the Riverland farm, of course. But this is actually the first thing I decided. I'm picking the forest farm. And the reason for that is that we need a wood skip. We can only catch that in the secret woods which means we would have to upgrade our axe to steel, which would take way too long. And we can't use the chair glitch to get in there because that is counted as a glitch and we're trying to do a glitchless speed run. So the only way to get the wood skip outside of the cart would be that there's actually a very small chance that you can catch the wood skip on the forest farm. Farm name, fan, fanch, everything, fish. Fish. You know, but we've been making the same farm every time. We're going to start. I'm going to do blue hair this time because we're doing the fish tank. We do blue hair and, and white sailor pants. I mean, let's just hop into it. Three, two, one. Oh my God. I almost forgot to skip the intro. Three, two, one, go. Okay. So both times we've tried to do a speed run, we have had to reset at some point from like timer malfunctions or something. So we're going to make that not happen this time. That's the goal. We're getting better at that. We're gonna do parsnips because um, we want some money for the traveling cart. And as far as I know, that's like the best way to get that done. Throw some parsnips on the ground and then we're gonna like immediately go to sleep. Actually, no, no, we should make a chest. Will this be our first ever run without technical difficulties? Since this one's gonna be like all fishing, I'm really gonna have to come up with stuff on the fly to talk about. Okay, we should be able to make a chest. Yep, okay. Color blue because fish. We're just gonna go right to bed and we're just gonna water these parsnips. We're going to do that until the 5th. The 5th is when we're going to start doing something different. And I know technically I could pick up the fishing rod today, but I want to harvest these and bin them first. This is the part that I was inspired by a run that I saw. Just the beginning where someone planted parsnips. The rest of it, I made the route myself. Rain on the 3rd, so we go right to bed. Now we're going to start checking luck because the next time we get a star drop day, we're going to the mines. We're going to try and hit floor 20 as fast as we can. And the reason we're going to do that is because we want the ghost fish, which is caught on floor 20. And I know it's technically possible to get at the cart, but I don't want to risk that. So we're just going to not risk that. Oh, I know what I was supposed to do on the first. I was supposed to buy 10 potato seeds. We improvise. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to go down to the beach. Well, first, let me, I need, I need a spring foraging eventually, and I need energy for the mines too. So let's grab all this. Um, we are going to go to the beach. We're going to pick up our rod and start fishing because we need to be awake until nine to buy some potatoes to put in the ground because I'm going to plant like 10 potatoes. Let's check the left side of our farm for some more foraging delights. Okay, we just need a horseradish and then um, spring foraging will be totally done. Not on the farm. Uh, hopefully we find one elsewhere because we need to finish one bundle to unlock the fish tank and the easiest one is the spring foraging. So we just need a horseradish. Okay, let's go pick up our rod and do some fishing. Things we need to catch in spring. We actually only need to catch three fish in spring and that is the sardine, the flounder, and the sunfish. And if we do the speed run right, we'll never hit winter. We'll be done before winter even starts. All right, skip the cutscene we are off okay sardine flounder sunfish that's all we need and welcome to probably most of the run which is fishing i mean it's it's a fish tank speeder and you know what you signed yourself up for if you're if you're in here and you're shocked to see fishing happening then it's your own fault okay there's the sunfish usually you can't catch the sunfish at the ocean but that is scripted that your first fish is a sunfish and there's a sardine oh my god we just need the flounder this is going great all right and it's nine so once we're done here we can go straight to pierre i don't know you can you can hit escape to duck out of a fish if you don't want it and this is where knowing fish patterns is really handy i don't know what the flounder's fish Okay. I was about to say, I don't know what the flounder's pattern is. Um, oh, we're going to grab these because we need to basically sell everything we can for cart money. Anything sitting on the beach we're picking up because uh, we want to finish the crab pot bundle without having to actually make any crab pots. Ideally, we find an oyster and a cockle on the beach and then get a crab in the mines. If not, we can find a ton of stuff at the cart. That one's pretty low stakes. We need 10 potatoes and I guess we'll just sell all our spare stuff. And we're going to plant those, water them today and tomorrow, and then leave them alone for the rest of the season and hope that we get enough rain to 
grow them to full maturity. I'm dropping farming bars right now. I bet I sound so cool. I bet I sound so cool using the word maturity, unironically. All right, we got some fiash. Let's see, these two are getting sold. Starting Sunday, we're going to start checking the cart. Level one farming. We're not going to make any scarecrows. We're just going to leave it up to God. And we're going to check for luck every day. We just need one star drop day. Just one. We technically are done uh, with spring for fish. We're just looking to like go to the cart. Got to check luck. Good stuff. Uh, we don't care about queen of sauce. Please. Oh my God. Okay. We just need one. Just need one star drop day. We don't have much money, but we should have enough to buy any interesting fish. Because normally the, a lot of the money you get is by selling everything you got on the mines run. We have not gotten to do a mines run yet because we have not gotten a star drop day that's okay. All right, ma'am, you absolutely clutched up for me on the pantry run. Can you do the same? Oh my God, the sandfish for 225. A yup. The cart is blessed. I never even got around to talking that. The sandfish is a make or break because you need to get that from the cart. You do not have a choice. The only way you can get a sandfish unless it's from the cart is by getting to the desert. And to do that, you need to complete the vault, which means you have to complete enough bundles to unlock the vault and then pay like 40, 50,000 gold. So that's like off the table. And we just got it for the cheapest I've ever seen at the cart. So that is insanely clutch. All right, and now we're just gonna check the luck every day. That's it, until Friday. And this is this is gonna be what we do for, for the next hot minute, I think. Come on. Oh my good golly, okay. All of our lake fishing we're gonna do in summer when we have a shot at the sturgeon. Okay, we're also gonna do some foraging because we need some more cash. Also, this is scaring me, please stop. I don't even know if it's worth it because there's a great, there's like a very high chance that we're not even gonna be able to afford whatever's there because we are quite poor as a result of not being able to go to the mines. Maybe we should ditch the whole wait until a star drop thing and just go on like a pyramid day because we do need to get down on the mines sooner than later so we have enough money for the cart um no there's nothing anyway okay we need a star draft day at some point you still haven't gotten a single one past the fifth this feels like my perfection playthrough for those of you who aren't hip enough to know what i'm talking about i have a fat stack of live streams of me trying to get perfection if you want to check those out good night all right come on now come on now oh this is utterly ridiculous utterly i'm gonna say it i'm gonna say it utterly ridiculous i don't even care i'm gonna say it oh my god okay let's you know what let's go ahead and harvest these bin them so now we should have enough for the cart yeah there we go now we're good i wonder if we're gonna make it through all of spring without a star drop day that would be insane it's looking like it might happen because i also want a star drop day so i can fish for the wood skip because that's affected by daily luck Okay, we're going to the mines. We're going to the mines. Bring anything that can be used for energy. I'll be used for energy, and we'll grab any salmon berries on the way. That's actually accidentally good timing that it's during sand berry season. I don't know why I said sand berry. During salmon berry season, because that'll give us a little bit more energy that we're going to need. And there's our horseradish. So that's spring foraging down. Oh, we need to unlock the community center at some point. One of the days we go to the cart, we can stick around for a bit and then unlock it. I have no experience with animation canceling in terms of, I've never done like, going through the mines really fast is a very important part of animation canceling. Never done it before, so this is gonna be a new experience. Okay, good start. Oh my God. Look at me go, dude. Oh my God, look at this. We need to sell the copper for money. I'm not gonna like, get all of it, but I get some of it. Nice. Okay, that's floor five already and it's 820. I just realized we passed up a rock crab. We should have killed that thing, so we need a crab for the crab pot. Oh my God, there was a freebie. I couldn't even see it because my screen is so dark. Also, my microphone boom arm blocks my energy bar. Okay, wind spire, perfect. Oh, I literally can't see. Oh my God, I got a ladder. Really need that crab for the crab pot. This floor is giving me some trouble. I don't know why. This one, this floor is an absolute disaster right now. There are bugs everywhere and there are no ladders on the whole floor. There we go. Good God. Okay, I keep running out of energy. I just, first of all, I need to readjust my microphone after this because it blocks my energy bar and that simply won't do. This does not feel like a star drop day. It did at the beginning. Now it does not. I'm like trucking through this whole place. I guess we might as well fish for the ghost fish. Actually, you know what? No, I'm going to go ahead and leave immediately because I want to be able to get the community center cutscene. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and eat both of these to clear up an inventory spot for that topaz, because I need the money. That's it, done. I don't know why I checked that. I don't really, you know what? I'm cool with a glow ring. It'll make me look cool. There we go, floor 20 and we're out by like 150. Okay, and we should still have time to get the community center cutscene. I actually don't know when the time limit on that is. My guess is like five. I actually don't know for real. Okay, we are not good. The answer is we are not good. I guess we missed the time limit on that. It's fine. 
there will be another time we can get that. Now I have to take the long way back home. Okay, now we are truly done for spring. I guess we still need to go like check the cart like, on occasion, but besides that, we are done for spring. Okay, so then I guess we'll continue checking for luck because I guess the next star drop day, we're gonna be fishing for the wood skip. It's a star drop day. <laughs> Today's the day. Shut up, Clint. Shut up, Marnie. Okay, I can't make you shut up. So then today will be a uh, community center unlock day because we'll be up until nine anyway looking for the wood skip. We got a doggy. We got a doggy. I'm gonna start naming them uh after th themes of of the speed run so you're gonna be marlin get like the fish all right so everyone welcome marlin into our lovely family check out the cart we now have 2400 which should be plenty some lucky cart pulls would save us a lot of time and let's hope for a wood skip and we can back out with escape if it's definitely not a wood skip it might take a while even with a star drop day it's very very rare uh, so it can be really tricky. On the other hand, we could also just sit here for like 20 minutes and not play the video game. Okay, thank you. This is going to be the big decider of the run is how fast we catch the wood skip because this thing alone could really mess with us. Oh my god. Okay, after this cast, we're going to go get the community center unlocked. Okay, cool. I love the wood skip. I love the wood skip. Skip. All right, and we got to go inspect the scroll. I think the world record for the speed run is like 40 something minutes. Uh, we're definitely not going to hit that. My goal is an hour and a half. Because it took, I forget how long it took uh, MZ and I, and now I'm doing this alone. So whatever we got there, I'm hoping for that plus like half an hour. I don't know if we got an hour flat. I, I genuinely couldn't tell you. All right, let's get back to work on this wood skip. Now that I'm thinking about it, I wonder if part of it is buying the reinforced rod because that would save so much time. I'm sure it is. Like we could technically afford it, right? But then we wouldn't have like any money for the cart. I guess the idea is we have enough excess fish to sell that it would even out so i guess we'll do that next time we go to the ocean which would be summer we'll buy a reinforced rod oh my god oh is this a carp well i need a carp eventually anyway oh it's a smallmouth bass i didn't even know you could catch those here okay well we don't need that but i guess that's a little bit of money i'm sure i'm doing this wrong and that this alone is going to add like an hour to my time <laughs> but this is what i'm doing it is 12 30 we have hooked one fish uh-oh uh-oh my contact just fell out oh my god you're kidding my contact just fell out and this i think is it oh i'm squinting really hard did I get it? Yes, I did. Okay. My contact is out, though. Okay, this is a time loss. I'm going to see how fast I can put this thing back in. Get in there. Ow, ow, ow. It's in. Okay. We did it. <laughs> Boom jams. We sleep until Sunday. Another 80 gold. Awesome. I guess, actually, we're not really going to need to buy much from the cart, because at this point, the only thing that we could grab from the cart that would be helpful would be, like, ghost fish or puffer fish. So I guess, yeah, the rest of our money is going to go into the rod. Okay, we got the wood skip pretty early. That was good. That was good. Good job, us. So that's checked off. Nice. That's that's one down on the special... That's two down on the specialty fish. Forgot we got a sand fish, like, right at the start. Oh, I forgot to check my mail. I should have checked my mail, and then I could see the wizard on my way. Uh, okay, that's fine. Something I've noticed is that speedruns are very dependent on cart checking. I guess... It makes sense. The traveling cart is insanely clutch. All right, sleep until Friday. Sleep until Friday. Putting weeds cause damage on your farm. Joke's on you. Literally, the only thing that matters to me is my chest, and I don't think they can destroy that, so suck it. We're going to the cart today. Check our mail. We got to remember. Okay, so we're going to check on the traveling cart, and then we're going to go visit the wizard and unlock the community center for good. And then the next time we, I guess, in summer, on our way to the lake, we'll bring some stuff to donate so we don't have to make, like, multiple trips at the very end. Uh, Do you have anything of interest? Another sandfish. That's funny. But for way more than we bought it for us. See that? We saved like 250 gold on the bargain prices. Hi, sir. Okay, community center is unlocked. All right, community center is unlocked. Everything is going roughly according to plan. I'm sure it's going to end up being a huge time loss that we went to the mines instead of just like relying on getting the ghost fish in the cart. First of all, it's more fun and I need to practice animation canceling in the mines. And second of all, I don't know. It's the safer play, so we went for it. Oh, there's our perfect fish. Oh, that's that's so expensive though. We have to. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that play. It's just we're, we're poor now. Let's see. I know this is going to be, like, bad for time, but let's just rummage through the chest and sell anything that we can that, that we don't necessarily need. Sap. These three. That. Best we can do. And it's summer. Yeah, that's it. Another 198 gold. I think that's technically enough for the rod, but then we wouldn't be able to buy any bait. Not even. Okay. Well, either way. We're immediately going to go... Or no, 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 no. We shouldn't... We should just wait until traveling cart day and then make it all one day that makes more sense we need to go to the lake eventually we need a tuna we need a tilapia in the ocean so let's just wait until friday so what we need i'm sure we're going to need this to clear a spot on our way down we need we're going to turn this in and we're going to turn in everything that we can carry you know what? let's just make this a full just donation and just say forget it to the traveling cart specifically today oh how about you know what actually i have an idea mm, no 
I don't think it's a good idea. Wait, no, we're gonna get... Okay, I'm a fool. We're gonna get spring seeds from the community center. And then we can sell those to Pierre. And that's how we'll be able to afford the rod. Okay, forget it. I was thinking about getting the summer seeds to sell those and then realize that we would just get spring seeds. We're still gonna have to wait a while for Pierre, though, is the issue. We can we can fish at the lake for a bit. We can, we can make that work. Okay. Bundle complete. That unlocks the fish tank. Those three. And then uh, ocean fish. We don't need a flounder. Why was I catching a flounder? What is my deal? See, that was just me being stupid. That was because I... If I took a bit to think about it, I would have known. Because I know what fish are needed for the community center. But it's because the speedrun that I watched, I guess the person was wrong and said you need a flounder and a sardine in spring. When in reality, that is not the case. So that kind of messed me up. That's fine. Whatever. We're, we're all good. We just gotta sell the seeds. There we go. Sorry, Pierre. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. Dang, no no oysters or cockles to be found. All right, excuse me. All right, I've had enough of the cutscenes for today. Okay, I need... um. Oh my god, I can't. I can't get the reforced rod yet. I'm not high enough level. Okay, well maybe just by fishing here, then I'll be able to. I'm sure over the course of this fishing trip, I'll get enough XP for that. Okay, I'm making a lot of mistakes. It's fine. Can you tuna and a tilapia? This has tuna vibes. Okay. Isn't it level two fishing for the fiberglass rod? I think it is. Okay, please. One of the two things I need. Okay, there's our tilapia. And what level are we at? Still one. Okay. I don't think this is a tuna, but I'm too scared to hit escape. Because, like, what if it is? Yeah, it's not. Okay, I should have just hit escape. I should trust my Stardew Valley fish pattern knowledge. How am I catching so much garbage? I feel like this is, like, a disproportionately large amount of garbage to catch. Oh, that has tuna vibes. That big first jump has... Total tuna vibes. Oh, this 100% has tuna vibes. Give me the... Okay. Oh, now this is a tuna. This is a tuna. It's a tuna, if not a... Oh, no, this might be a puffer fish, actually. No, this thing is aggressive. I think this is the puffer fish. This is such a waste of time, because I already bought it. But I really want to catch it. I've come so far. Oh, my God. Okay, so buying that thing ended up being... A oh, that 10 bait is clutch, though. Buying that thing ended up being a waste of, like, 900G. That's okay. Come on, man. I just... I just wanted tuna. Okay, big first jump. That has tuna vibes, but it could also have pufferfish vibes. Okay, this one's calm. It has to be a tuna. Thank you. Ugh, sell all the extra fish. I guess let's give the sturgeon a shot. At our current fishing level, though, the sturgeon's gonna be really tough. Especially, like, we're not gonna get a lot of chances at it since we don't have the fiberglass rod. But I guess let's just do our very best. I think it's only around until like six or seven also. So we're not going to have a lot of tries at this fool. Okay, this is not a sturgeon. Whatever it is, we need to catch it unless it's a chub. Cool. It's the only one we don't need. It's the only one that we don't need from the lake. That and like the rainbow trout we do not need. Okay, wow. We just got a chub and a rainbow trout back to back. Perfect. Literally anything but those two, please. Anything. This is ridiculous. I need anything but those two. Also, great treasure. Anything but those two. And we're about to lose our chance at that. Oh, I was too busy yelling. I didn't hear the bobber. I don't much care for this video game. Okay, that was a bullhead, I think. Oh my god. That was absolutely ridiculous. We did not get a single lake fish that we needed. Not one. Like, I'm cool with missing the sturgeon, but we got none of them. We'll be back at it on Sunday. A ghost fish, I guess, is really the only thing left in the cart that would save us time. Not even, because we made it to floor 20. Now that I'm thinking about it, we don't need to go to the cart anymore. We kind of just took destiny into our own hands. Yeah, okay. We're done with the cart for good. <laughs> and while we're down south, let's just go to Willie's and buy the new fishing pole. I don't have patience for the bamboo pole anymore. Anything I need for the crab pot bundle? Oh, that's, I guess that's why we need to check the cart, is that the crab pot bundle is not looking very good right now, because we can't find anything. I just need an oyster and a cockle, and I guess, a, like, yeah, the crab from the mines thing. Fiberglass rod, please. Thank you. Bunch of bait. Like a bunch of bait. Good, good, good. We have that now. All right, only fish left in summer are all the freaking lake ones, and I guess if we catch them all today while I'm up there, I'll fish for the ghost fish. And now I don't need any fish anymore because I don't need any more money and I don't need any more fishing XP. Except I guess it would help. We're in it for the challenge. We're in it for the struggle. Good. Good. That's, yeah. Good start. This feels like another thing we don't need. This is getting ridiculous. That has bullhead vibes. That has total bullhead vibes. I think that's a bullhead. Okay. There's our largemouth bass. Now it's just the carp and the sturgeon. Two of the most recognizable fish patterns in the lake, which means it should be easy to tell. I can't tell if this is a really aggressive carp. It is. Okay, that was quick. Good, good, good. Now it's just a sturgeon. That's easy. It's very easy to tell if something's not a sturgeon. Example. Yep, okay. Sturgeon. I am not at a high enough level for this fool, but maybe we'll still make it work. We did. 
Wow. We went from terrible luck to great luck right there. Okay, and now we just need the ghost fish. And then that's summer done. And we sleep pretty much straight until fall. I guess we should check the cart for crab pot. I don't really know what to do about crab pot at this point. I'm getting worried. No, 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 no. We'll, we'll worry about crab pot if we've finished every single fish and still are nowhere close to it. Most of our fishing is gonna be done in fall, though. Fall is when, like, a lot of the fish converge. If we get the stone fish and not the ghost fish, I'm gonna be furious. Cool. Done. And that's that for summer. Summer's done. Okay, what we're gonna do in fall is we're gonna sleep straight until a rainy day. And then we're gonna go make a donation run and then fish in the river for the catfish and the shad and the walleye. And then we're gonna move to the ocean at 4 p.m. on that rainy day and fish for the eel and the red snapper. And hopefully we can also get the tiger trout in the river uh, until 4 p.m. And then we need a bream at night. And besides that, we just need to figure out the freaking crab pot. All right, it is officially fall. So now we're just waiting for rain. I usually, for whatever reason, have a hard time finding rain in fall. I don't know. Okay, <laughs> I'm just gonna shut up. All right, we got all our to be donated items. And now let's go straight to the community center. Where was this dude? A hazelnut and a plum, both at the bus stop. Where was that in my crafts room speeder hunt? That one's definitely gonna be revisited because I think we can get away better time. Um, okay, lake fish. There we go. Specialty fish. Crab pot. Ocean fish. Now it's just the the dang red snapper. Dish of the sea. I guess we'll just eat it today. It'll make things easier. I was about to say, that would have been nice to have for the sturgeon. For whatever reason, my favorite spot to fish in the river is right here. I just think it's very pretty. I don't know what's actually like the best spot, but this one's pretty, so I do it. Fall fishing is, is very luck dependent because there's a lot of assorted ones you need to find and it can take you more than you anticipate sometimes. Oh, this one's got some life to it. It's jerky. Is this the tiger trout? Oh my god, that's great. Okay, that's one thing checked off. Oh, this one's- oh, this is probably a catfish. It moves. I almost lost it for a second. Oh, well, it's not over. Oh my god, it's definitely not over. In fact, it is over. Oh, wait, no, it's not. Oh, yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Oh my god, I can't believe I just lost a catfish with like six farming levels. That was embarrassing. Oh my god, another catfish. Okay, redemption. There it is. Now we just need a shad and a walleye. Oh, this one has promise. Nice. Okay. Old Mariner. Actually, wait. Walleye is a night fish, isn't it? What am I doing? Hold on. Okay, the walleye is just anytime after noon. So, let me just wait a little bit. Let me just wait a little bit. Just wait for a little bit. Okay. Also, walleye is one I can come back to because I can catch that while I'm fishing for the bream at night because it's available until literally 2 in the morning. So, we're just going to go ahead and proceed to the beach and start fishing for a red snapper. Here's our oyster. Now, I just need a cockle and some other random thing that we're probably going to have to find at the cart. All right. Red snapper, please. And there's our red snapper. So, now it's it's just, I mean, I guess I'll go back to the river because <laughs> I, I don't need to be at the ocean until 4. I just need the walleye. Uh, which is all night in the river. Uh, the bream, which is after, I think, like, probably six. Uh, and the eel, which is after four in the ocean. And then crab pot stuff. There's our walleye. Now we just wait here until four. And the eel has a super recognizable pattern, so I should be able to hit escape if it's not eel. For instance, that's definitely not an eel. That's definitely not an eel. This could be an eel. They're very floaty, but I, I don't think it is, but I'll- maybe it's just a very weak, sad eel. It is not. That's an eel. Okay, now I just need a bream, but I can't remember. Okay, this fool is ju 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 jumping. I'm worried about the crab pot bundle, man. I don't really know what to do about it because we didn't get a crab from the mines. So do I just have to check card a bunch of times? Because that's going to suck. Also, someone told me in one of my streams that apparently it's not pronounced bream. It's pronounced brim. I've been calling it a bream my whole life. Oh, this could be a brim. I don't know. It's kind of in between like the weak smallmouth bass and the aggressive everything else. No, nope, it's a walleye. There we go. Okay, so now I'm just leaving these two open inventory splot splots <laughs> splots for a crab pot items. I'm sure there's a better way. I'm sure there's a better way, you know what I mean, to get the crab pot bundle. But I just, if there is a better way, I really don't care because I, I'm out of ideas. We could get a crab, we could get a lobster, we could get a crawfish or crayfish or whatever it is. We could get a snail, we could get a periwinkle, we could get a shrimp, even a cockle. We're out of space. All right, come on, please. Oyster, ugh, close. You've got the right idea though, I love it. You got the right spirit. Okay, and then I guess we go check the beach. Apparently it's available in all seasons. None today, but... And because of how the foraging resets work, we're just gonna only wake up on Fridays. That's what we're gonna do. Check the cart, check the beach, until we can finish the crab pot bundle, and then the speedrun is over. When we finish this speedrun is entirely up to Lady Luck. By the way, I forgot to explain the foraging reset thing. Forage resets on Sundays. Hoi! I've never been so happy to see a lobster. We have secured the lober. Anyway, as I was saying, foraging resets on Sundays, so uh, the day when there is the most amount of forage on the map is Saturday, because our options for cart days are Fridays and Sundays, and Sundays have the least amount of foraging of any day of the week, so... 
Friday as it is. We've secured the lober. We just need a cockle. Show me a cockle. You're not showing me a cockle. I guess we'll still go to the cart first on Friday because it technically has like a better chance of giving us something we need than going to the beach. We're closing in though. We're almost done with the speed run. As long as we get less than an hour and a half, I'm happy. Okay, I just checked our time. It's like an hour and 20, so it's gonna be a photo finish of getting sub 130. I think we can do it. We just need to get, we just need to get lucky here. Come on, come on. No, cockle, please. Oh, come on, please. See you on Friday. No, okay, cockle. Show me a cockle. This game sucks. All right, come on, please. Please, 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 please. Well, there's our walleye. Please, it's been a year. It's been a year. Okay. No, that's fine. You know what? At this point, maybe it's quicker to just give up on the cockle and just hit the traveling cart over and over again until we find something. Uh, oops, I just slept through a Friday. I was looking at my phone <laughs> and I slept through a Friday. Everything's fine. You know what? That cart was probably bad anyway. It's like the sour grapes fable. Oh my God, you're kidding. As much as I love the Lober, I don't need a second one. Anything, anything, anything from the trolley? <gasps> Fat W's. Oh my God, I barely could afford it. And I'm gone. We're ending it here. I don't know what the time is, but I hope we were like in the general ballpark of an hour and a half. That crab pot bundle really slowed us down, but that's okay. That just means there's room for improvement. Also, the flounder was unnecessary. I went the wrong, I went the wrong way. Crab pot, pink, bonk, lober. What? Oh my God. The muscle is still in the chest. The muscle is still in the chest. The muscle's in the chest. The muscle's in the chest. I'm sure I always put the, <laughs> I always put the final times in the thumbnail. So I'm sure y'all saw me running to the community center like five minutes short. <laughs> you were like, what could have possibly happened? At least the muscle was in the chest. It's like whenever I'm watching someone like play a game that's really hard where they have to do a bunch of tries and they have like one run where they're like, we're about to do it. And the video is like halfway over and I'm like, oh, okay. Okay, and we're done and we're done and we're done. Once once the screen goes white, we know the drill. Uh-huh, time. One hour, 35 minutes and 14 seconds. So we were, we would have been even closer to an hour and a half if we didn't forget about the muscle, but that's pretty good. I'm gonna look up what Shawnee and Brandon got in their run. They got an hour and 13 minutes. Only like 20 minutes more than they did with one less person. I'll take it. Thank you very much for watching. This was a blast. Uh, so that is that is our third speed run of our little series. So we've now, we've tackled the crafts room. We've tackled the pantry. We've tackled the fish pan the fish pank. We've tackled the fish pank. I think it's gonna be three days from now. Sorry about that. I know I promised like every other day, but I can't realistically do that. We'll be tackling the boiler room. So make sure to subscribe if you wanna see that. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in a few days. Goodbye. Damn.